Praise God. Hello, beloved church family. Hallelujah. Wednesday evening worship service. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Say with me. Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to God. The name above every name for all of eternity will be worshiping Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Isn't that a blessed thought right there? Amen. That no matter what, no matter what, for all of eternity, we're going to be worshiping Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. And I just pray. I mean, I pray for our entire church family, for this whole, this whole world. Amen. I pray that we start now. Amen. We start now. And glory to God, when we start something, we just have to make a choice. Amen. We have to make that decision that I'm going to start right now. I'm going to start worshiping because guess what? We're going to do this for all of eternity. Hallelujah. Oh, and I'm so excited. Hallelujah. I'm so excited because it's going to go off really soon. You're going to hear that trumpet sound. Oh my goodness, on that glorious day, I pray it's in the next half an hour. You're going to, you're going to hear that trumpet sound and in a matter of like glory to God. And I am so excited. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. Praise God. Do you want to go? Amen. Do you, I mean, seriously, do you want to get out of here and be in heaven, be in perfection? Glory to God. Be, be in, in a place where you just, you, you could just see Lord Jesus Christ. You see agape. Amen. All of perfection. Not, not one bad thought. Amen. Not one bit of sin. Not one achy part of your body, right? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh my goodness, just overwhelming. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Well, this evening we're going to be in Ephesians 5. And we're going to start in verse 8 and we're going to go all the way to verse 20. Hallelujah. And I pray in Jesus' name that Holy Spirit blesses your socks off. I want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your Wednesday evening. Praise God to just be a part of worship service. Hallelujah. I, I, I believe with all my heart it doesn't matter what time, uh, you know, when or where. God sees your heart. And I just want to say thank you so much for blessing God the way you do. Just keeping him first is all about Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And just loving on everybody. Amen. Praying for all of our leadership. Amen. Our elders, our deacons. Just praying for all of our church family. Hallelujah. Just allowing his presence to flow through his holy church. And we, we pray that as he overflows within our lives, within our hearts and our families, praise God, and our children and our grandchildren, that God just keeps on overflowing from from, from ours, from his house, over onto this whole world, amen? The communities, praise God. Hallelujah, I'm just so thankful, amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. Thank you, Father God. Glory to you, Heavenly Father, for this glorious day that you have made. And we just say thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you made this all possible. And Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that we belong to you for all of eternity. And Father, as we get into your word through Christ our Lord, Holy Spirit, we surrender. We give it all to you. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, teach us, O Lord. Holy Spirit, you are the only teacher. And we thank you that only through your blood, your perfect sacrifice, that Lord Jesus Christ, this is your holy church, Open Arms Community Church. We are one body in you. Father, we are truly one in you, Father. We are all members of your body, Lord Jesus Christ. We are your body. And Holy Spirit, you have unified us, Holy Spirit. You have blessed us with your anointing, your peace, and your revealing to us, Father, in every breath, your glory, your grace, your mercy. Hallelujah. We just thank you, Father God, for that, for all of eternity. So, Father, bless us. Teach us, O Lord. Change us. We ask this in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name. And all God's beloved said, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. So let's get right into the word. Hallelujah. We got a lot to go through. Praise God. Ephesians 5, verse 8 through 10. For you were once in darkness. Quick reflection on this is you were once in darkness. Holy Spirit is saying, remember, remember what you were saved from. Amen. Holy Spirit right now is saying, remember what I saved you from. Hallelujah. If there's any question, if there's any question, this is why we love to put the picture of what God did through Lord Jesus Christ. How Lord Jesus Christ was just on that cross. Amen. Barely breathing. Having all authority to just say, enough. 
but forgave us and laid down his last breath in complete surrender to make that payment. Amen? To make that payment. Last time I checked, when you make a payment, amen, if I'm making a payment at Walmart, they take my money, right? If I don't let go of that money, security's going to come, <laughs> right? If I said, okay, it's $20, but I don't want to let go, right? And God let go. Lord Jesus Christ let go. Holy Spirit let go to make that payment for you and me, amen? We haven't even got started yet, praise God, but God's saying, remember what I saved you from. Amen. You see, sometimes this enemy, this world, wants to deceive us to make us think that our current situation, circumstance, state, you know, brokenheartedness, you know what I mean, anger, whatever it is, that that's your identity. No, rebuke that. It's a deception from the enemy. Our identity is eternal. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. He is our identity. So God right now is saying, you were once in darkness. That, that was you before, right? And praise God, a big butt's coming, amen? You can see it on the screen, big butt. But now you are, say it with me, I am. Now you are, I am, light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Test and prove what pleases the Lord, amen? Now notice this is highlighted in blue because Holy Spirit said so, amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. All his angels are around us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now notice what God put in blue because this is what God is asking for us to do as his beloved children. If, say it with me, beloved church family, if, if you have a relationship with God Almighty. And what is God charging us and asking us to do? Test and prove what pleases the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's tie all this in together and we're going to move on. Praise God, because we have a lot to go through. I know many of you are like, when do you not? Amen. Listen, I'm barely keeping on. You can ask Pastor John the same thing. Ask the elders. We barely keep up. We don't know. We just worship Lord Jesus. It's all about Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Holy Spirit is teaching us. Praise God. But as God ties all this in together, as you see on the screen, God is charging you as a beloved child of God, test and prove we're in a relationship. Amen. You received my perfect sacrifice. Father God is speaking now. Amen. Father God is speaking, saying, you received my perfect sacrifice. Nailed on the cross for you. You freely received it. And now because I know your heart, you have received Lord Jesus Christ. You died in Lord Jesus Christ. I breathe Holy Spirit in you. And Holy Spirit lives in you for all of eternity. Now that you know me, test and prove. Hallelujah. It's a relationship. Amen. Test and prove what pleases God Almighty. What, what pleases the Lord. Amen. Because when you examine this in worship, when God speaks this way, guess what? There are things that please Him. Hallelujah. Yay, yay, yay. And there are things that don't. Can I get an amen? Right? Being married. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sister Trish has things that I do that pleases her. Hallelujah. And I pray there's more, right? That, that there's more pleasing than, than, right? But there are also things that I do, and praise God, I continuously crucify this flesh. She don't do that to me. She does this. She chicken wings me, right? <laughs> but crucifying this flesh and asking, asking Holy Spirit to change me, to be the husband that he is made me to be. Not what I want to be, what Holy Spirit wants for his beloved daughter. Can I get an amen? The pastor that he wants. Amen? This is both Pastor John and I. We're one. The pastor that he wants. Not for, right? Not for anybody, but what he wants. What Holy Spirit wants. Amen? And where he assigned us at Open Arms Community Church here in Lebanon, Kentucky. Can I get an amen? These are those moments where when God says, in a relationship with him, test and prove what makes him happy. Amen. And the glory of God, when you know Holy Spirit, and he is alive in you, and you hear his voice, amen, you listen, and you obey through your actions. What actions are there? Is the actions acting all, <laughs> look at you, look at you, 
rebuke that. Certainly not. But the actions are, I thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to you, Father. Father, this person hurt me. But Father, I pray for them. I, I, I don't hold nothing against them, Father. Because I hurt you, Lord Jesus. I put you on that cross. And Father, I pray for them. I pray for them. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for forgiving me. And Holy Spirit, that you give me wisdom. Because you live on the inside. I am not going to harbor anything against anyone. That I forgive, Father God, so that I know that I am forgiven in your presence. That I know, Holy Spirit, that I'm not hurting you. Oh, Father, I'm sorry. I, I looked at something that I wasn't supposed to, Father God. I ask you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, renew my mind. Father God, I, I rebuke what the enemy's trying to do as far as deceiving my heart. Father, that was a wrong thought. Father, I don't want that thought. Lord Jesus, I think of you on that cross and how you thought of me. That's why you didn't release the 12 legions of, of angels to come and just wipe out this world. You took everything on that cross. And Lord Jesus Christ, you laid it down for me. Amen? See, when we test and prove in a relationship with God, in what pleases Him, the glory of God is, is that His view and opinion manifests within. And now it renews our mind in this worship, in this relationship, just being mindful of Lord Jesus Christ. And when you are mindful of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit will tell you, beloved child of God, son, don't do that. That hurts me. Son, it's not about you. Stop talking about yourself. It's all about Lord Jesus Christ. Daughter, don't speak that way, right? Don't gossip. Darkness is trying to come in. Rebuke that, amen? Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise, amen? Amen. Test and prove what pleases the Lord. Verse 11 to 13. Have no fellowship with fruitless deeds of darkness. This means, this means, don't allow the fruitless deeds, the fruitless works, don't allow demonic activity to be a part of your life, to be a part of the way you conduct your behavior, to be a part of your identity. Rebuke that. Have no fellowship with that. Amen? A lot of people ask me, well, what are you preaching? What are you telling me? First of all, Holy Spirit's the teacher. Amen? Amen? Jesus Christ is Lord. Holy Spirit will teach you. Just worship Lord Jesus Christ. But what God is saying is, yes, you show his light. You show how much God loves this world. Amen. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And it's through the anointing of Holy Spirit in you and in me that not in judgment or grumbling or complaining, but it's being holy and righteous because the holy and righteous one lives on the inside. And we're protective, meaning when someone tells you, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Just go ahead and take this drink. Go ahead and smoke that. You know what? I notice you don't cuss. Why don't you just go ahead and say a cuss word? You know, I'm speaking to every age range right now. Holy Spirit says, listen. Those who have ears to hear, listen. Amen? That when we allow that fellowship to now come into the Holy of Holies, and now we start being a part of that, God says, rebuke that in Jesus' name. There is nothing good that comes out of that. Amen? And that's why Holy Spirit is teaching us, saying, have no fellowship to with any of that. Now there's many of us, praise God, that have family, friends, co-workers, amen, that Holy Spirit has showed you. Either they're running away from the Lord or they've been hurt, right? They've been hurt by whoever. The glory of God is you're anointed of God. Jesus Christ is Lord, amen, that God gives you the power and ability to allow his presence to minister and agape to overflow on that broken soul. Not to be a part of the sin. Can I get an amen, beloved church family? Not to be a part of that darkness. Not to allow the darkness to come in. Amen? Because remember, we're protective over God Almighty and what Lord Jesus Christ did so that God could live in us, and I pray, more abundantly. Hallelujah. We like to say amen, gooder and gooder, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I jumped ahead, but Holy Spirit said, let's continue on. But rather expose them, for it is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. Remember, the power of our words, praise God, the power of our words, amen, the power of our text, 
Amen? It's amazing because we live right now in a world that people don't realize the power of texting, right? You, you could just read Satan in a lot of these texts. You could read it, the devil, right? And glory to God that we have Holy Spirit in us, amen, that gives us, praise God, Holy Spirit is in control. Say it with me, Holy Spirit, you are in control. I am your beloved child in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe right now I declare in Jesus' name that healing, anointing just flow over your body. Praise God. All of heaven right now in Jesus' name. Amen. It's just flowing through you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. But, that's a big but, everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For everything that is illuminated becomes a light itself. Praise God. I don't know, some of you right now are probably looking at my shirt or you probably saw earlier. But I don't know if you could read it. Praise God. But it says, what happens in Vegas is revealed in heaven. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. <laughs> and that's the truth. God knows everything. Amen. Everything. There is nothing that's done that God is not aware of. Praise God. And that is the battle right now before the trumpet sounds. Lord Jesus Christ says, my body has to be blameless. Which means that when we go to the individual members of the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, beloved child of God, I'm speaking to you. God is speaking to me. Amen. We have to be blameless. Amen. And so the fight is being transparent with God saying, Father, forgive me. I wronged you. I was prideful for a season. And I thank you, Father God, that you surrounded me with, with elders, leadership, prayer warriors that plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And that glory to God, you never gave up on me, Father. Right? You never gave up on me. And praise you, Father God. And I thank you. Father, don't allow me to go back there no more. Don't allow me to hurt you. Can I get an amen? See, this is where repentance comes in. Because I know now, because Holy Spirit said, this is what you did. For you were once in darkness, but now the light is shining through you. Amen? And now when you test and prove what God likes, right? Remember what he likes? Amen? And right? We never want to do this to Father God. Can I get an amen? It just hurts me doing this, right? And I pray in Jesus' name that you could, you could feel the anointing of Holy Spirit and how he wants to deliver this message. Praise God for his holy church, amen? Everything is exposed by the light. So where is the light of God right now on this earth? Where is it alive in? Hallelujah! Many of you, right? Many of you raise your hand. Many of you are going like that, amen? Praise God. Praise some are taking notes. Hallelujah. It's in you and it's in me. And the glory of God is he exposed the devil in his tricks, in his deception, in trying to put darkness in us, right? Trying to make us, right, be focused on anything else other than Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Is Jesus enough? Amen. <laughs> glory to God. Say it with me for eternity. Amen. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Which means we don't put nothing... Hallelujah. Nothing. We don't put nothing at that same level with our God. Who is our God? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And glory to God. It's in this relationship that God right now, glory to God, God right now. I'll tell you right now, if you don't receive it, if you don't want the blessing, I'm just going to take it in Jesus' name. I know many of you are like, you ain't taking my blessing. Praise God. But I'm telling you right now, the Holy Spirit is doing a mighty work through his holy church. Praise God. Amen. So it is said, wake up. Say with me, good morning. Hallelujah. God is the only one good. Amen. Good morning. I love it. When you wake up, good morning. Wake up, O oh sleeper. Rise up from the dead. And Christ will shine on you. Pay careful attention then to how you walk. Not as unwise, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Do you not agree that we live in an evil world? Which means, beloved church family, if you're trying to live your life gaining acceptance from this evil world, something is wrong. If you're, if you're moved and shaken by people not liking you, by people actually hating you and judging you and all, if you're moved by that, something's wrong. Because look at what we did to Lord Jesus Christ. The only perfect one. 
God himself, look at what we did to Lord Jesus Christ. And as you know, before Lord Jesus Christ comes in that trumpet sound, he's asking us, will you get rid of all bitterness? Will you get rid of all darkness? Will you crucify, amen, daily, hallelujah? And will you allow his presence to overflow in Jesus' name, amen? I pray you do, I, I pray I do in Jesus' name, continuously, amen? Umpteen times a day, just constant in a relationship with Father God, hallelujah? Just being thankful. That's all God asks, just be thankful for Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit in you and in me will do a mighty work, amen? Wake up, O sleeper, rise up, hallelujah. Say it with me, rise up, amen? So don't you love it how God is right, right away just touching again as far as, remember, you were dead. You, you, you ever wonder why there's such popularity with all these zombie movies, zombie video games, just walking dead? Here you go. That was us. Before Lord Jesus Christ, that was us, just walking dead. Disobedient dead, right? But the glory of God is that he chose us. The glory of God is he died for the whole world. Can I get an amen? And hallelujah that we said yes to Lord Jesus Christ and that we actually already died. And now we live, hallelujah, in this born again life, eternal life, amen? Hallelujah, say with me, I am eternal, amen? I am eternal, praise God. Verse 17, 18, therefore, amen, therefore reason, hallelujah, thank you, Father, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to reckless indiscretion. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Amen? Be filled with the Spirit. Praise God. Say it again. Let's say that unto Lord Jesus Christ. Be filled with the Spirit. Amen? So, it's therefore so that we know not to be foolish. What God is saying, how are you foolish? When you don't understand what God's will is. So let's expose that. What is God's will? You can look through the New Testament, New Covenant. Be thankful for Lord Jesus Christ. That is God's will on your life and on my life. To be thankful for Lord Jesus Christ. To be thankful that God saved us. That only God can do it. And God saved us through his perfect sacrifice. Amen. Say it with me. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful that Lord Jesus Christ, he died, rose again. And the glory of God is he didn't just rise again and, and leave us as orphans. Father now lives on the inside through Holy Spirit. This is what makes us born again. Amen. Born again. Free through the power of Holy Spirit. Amen. And listen in verse 18 what God exposes. Do not get drunk on wine, on beer, on drugs, on pornography. Do not, see drunk is allowing yourself by choice, opening yourself to have something else come into the temple and take the temple hostage. Can you get an amen? It could be gambling. Once again, addiction. I'm not judging nobody. I'm just preaching the word of God and exposing this devil, amen? It could be video games, right? It could be something as simple as shopping or, or Amazon, right? It could be something as simple as that. This is between you and the Father now, amen? And the Father will tell you, Father God will reveal to you, that's getting out of hand, right? It's getting out of hand, get rid of it, amen? I promise you in Jesus' name, as soon as you get rid of it, as soon as you crucify it, as soon as you lay it down at the altar, oh, get ready because God being God Almighty blesses your socks off because of your obedience in your sacrifice, amen? To want to have that relationship with Him, hallelujah. And this is how you be filled in the Spirit, amen? Continuously, continuously examining yourself through worship, being thankful for Lord Jesus Christ, and allowing Holy Spirit to speak to you, amen? To be in prayer, to be in the, in the written Word of God in the Holy Bible, Amen. To read your Bible. Praise God. Praise God. Sunday after service. Praise God. Everybody was out of here. And hallelujah. We had a beloved brother that come. And the glory of God is, you know, he, he's, he's reading his, his word now. Praise God. He's reading the Bible. He, he's, he's in the word. And 
and he's asking. Brother David spoke it over him. Holy Spirit moved on Brother David to speak it over. Before you crack open that Bible, I, Brother David told him, before you crack open that Bible, ask Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, show me what you want me to read. Take me to the book. Take me to the verse. Amen. And allow the teacher to teach you. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say with me. I choose to be filled with Holy Spirit. Amen. And we're going to close here. Ephesians 5, verse 19 through 20. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your hearts to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. Say it with me. Everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I love this because as beloved children of God, you will know, you will know someone's fruit. Amen. And remember what Holy Spirit just taught us last week, I believe. All the days are just bleeding into each other. It's the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Our day is eternal. Hallelujah. Our days do not end. Amen. And it's in this eternity that I say this because Holy Spirit revealed to us that as he exposes the fruit, as he shows us, it's not for us to be distracted by that fruit and judge. It's for us to shine his light, agape, through love, through encouragement, through prayer, amen? And you'll know, you'll know people by their fruit, amen? If you have somebody that, that badmouths you, texts you, email you, whatever they did to hurt you, to attack you, and you know it's Satan himself, bottom line, remember, we're not the enemy. Children of God, we're not the enemy. There is an enemy, he, he is the devil. And what this devil does, he's the accuser of the brethren of the sisters. He's the one that wants to create strife. It's all about him, all about him, right? He wants to create division. He wants to go, you know, he's quick to run into chaos. He's quick to run into judgment, uh, judgmental situations, gossiping, backbiting, complaining. You could feel it, that's all the devil. And Holy Spirit is saying when he exposes that fruit, be thankful that he guarded us, he protected us, Hallelujah, that his presence is protected. And it's in this thanksgiving when we just plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, the holy blood of God, God will renew our minds. God will get rid of those thoughts that want to attack his seed. And God will produce, hallelujah, his holy fruit through the holy of holies, amen. And I just wanna say thank you so much, hallelujah, for being a worshiper, praise God, that demonstrates Holy Spirit's fruit. Praise God that just, that fights for His blessing, His anointing to protect, amen, to protect Holy Spirit in you, amen, in your family, in God's house, amen, in Holy Spirit's house, Open Arms Community Church, hallelujah. Thank you so much for choosing to be a blessing unto our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. I pray that this message blessed your socks off, hallelujah. I am so thankful in what Holy Spirit is doing. Praise God, we are in this new season, amen? And hallelujah, we're just gonna continue being obedient to what Holy Spirit wants us to do. Praise God, don't you want, amen, beloved church family, don't you want His light shining at maximum capacity through your life, amen? I'm gonna tell you right now, that's all God wants. That's why He gave us Lord Jesus Christ. That's why He gave us the light. That's why He spoke from the very beginning of time, amen? Let there be light. Amen. Father God, agape, wants his light shining through your life like never before. Amen. Will you join me as we close in prayer, just allowing Holy Spirit to get rid of things that the, that the enemy has deceived us in or tried to hurt us in? Forgive. Amen. Forgive, forget. Forgive, forget. Amen. If you find yourself thinking about it all the time, I'm going to tell you right now, just nail it to the cross. Thank God for it. Every time that thought comes, Father, I thank you. I thank you because this thought used to take me down this road and it used to take me down just hurt, depression, worry. But now, Father God, I thank you for this thought because I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. You received that today? Praise God. Let's give God praise. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, your holy blood, Father God, for all of eternity. We worship you, Lord Jesus, and we say thank you. And Lord Jesus Christ, as we plead your blood, being thankful 
Holy Spirit, we know that you are blessed in the overflow. Holy Spirit, we are your church, we are your body, and we thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. We thank you, Father God, that you rebuke Satan, you rebuke demons, you rebuke all the garbage of the, the evil one, and Holy Spirit, that your light just shines and pierces through darkness, cutting off every head, Father God, cutting off every distraction, removing it, Father God. Thank you, Father God, that you just bless us with your presence overflowing, because all we want is you. And Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that in your holy and precious name, all of heaven, all your angels fight for us and protect us. And Father, we just want to say thank you once again for all of eternity for saving us. Thank you, Father God, for healing our bodies. Thank you, Father God, for healing your land. Thank you, Father God, for shielding us. And it's all through Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Holy Spirit, have your way. All God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Please praise God. You want to sow your seed of offering, please go to oacchurch.com. And from there, you, there's a link in the offering tab that you can give electronically. And it's also secure. And we just want to say thank you so much for your heart of worship and your giving. And praise God. God will bless you with an overflow of seeds to sow. Amen. And it's between you and the Lord as far as whatever God has moved on your heart to bless his holy church. Once again, just thank you so much. Amen. We never want to touch anything. It's all the glory for Lord Jesus Christ, right? So when, when God says just, just speak it, praise God, the blessing is already making its way to your house in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. We love you so, so very much. Amen. Let's continue just blessing God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Hallelujah. And Holy Spirit promises, amen, that through you, he will love every neighbor in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you guys. God bless you. See you in the next half an hour. Amen. Mwah.